Welcome back everybody. In this video, I decided to pick up $200 in nickels. I know we've been doing a lot of penny videos lately, but I decided to switch it up and hopefully we can find some silver or some old finds here. I know we had at least one ender. Also, I saw this weird bowl right here, which had like something sticking out. I kind of want to open that one first actually. Whoops. And then, so pretty much if you haven't seen this before, we just go through circulated boxes of nickels from the bank like these. And we try to fill up these albums right here. We got Buffalo nickels all the way to modern day. And there's also like V nickels and stuff before those. Uh, but those are very rare. I've only ever found one. Anyways, let's get started. And I'm going to open this roll first. Let's see if we can find anything. Well, this is roll number one. And it's that roll that had something sticking out. And there's definitely going to be something in there that is not a nickel. So I guess let's see what that is right there i have no clue it's some sort of foreign coin obviously and it has a fish on it 10p and it's from i have no clue it says like uh eerie and has a harp from 1994. if anybody knows what country that's from uh then let me know but i've definitely never found this foreign coin before it has a fish this is roll number two, and we're going to have two finds in here. We got a 1940 right up front from Philadelphia. And then in the back, this was actually one on the end. It's a 1947 Philadelphia. Roll 22, and we're going to have two back-to-back -back finds in the 40s. I'm only filming the 40s finds. Uh, we got a 46 Philadelphia, and then 48 Denver. We have gotten a few more uh, from the 50s. A 58, a 54, and a 59, as well as three Canadians right here, all pretty modern. So hopefully we can get some more finds. Roll 27, and we're going to have two finds. We got a 59 uh, Denver right up front, and then we also had one from the 40s, uh, a 1941 Philadelphia. Roll 29, and we have a 1940 Philadelphia now. Roll 31, and we have a really beat up 1948, and I can't tell what that mint mark is. I did not notice, but there was actually a 1940 right behind it. Next roll, we got a 1940 uh, Philadelphia, as well as a 1954 Denver. Alright everybody, very next roll, and look what we have right here. Uh, a Philadelphia minted Buffalo Nickel. This is really what we're looking for right here, guys. It's definitely, I've already seen the year. I made a little YouTube short, but look at this. It's in great condition, too. Buffalo nickels sometimes don't even have uh, years or anything on them because they get worn down really easily. But it's a 1936. That's a pretty common year, actually, but definitely always take a buffalo nickel. We probably already have this year, even though we don't have that many. Um, but we'll go ahead and check anyways. But that is amazing right there. That's what really what we're looking for. So, yeah, we'll take that for sure. Well, we actually don't have that one. So, I, even though it's a very common year, we don't have the 1936 Philadelphia. We do have the 36S and the 35, though. But that's going to be an addition that we just found right there. That's awesome. Roll 36 now. We're going to have another from the 30s. Not a, bluff, a Buffalo nickel this time. Hopefully it has a mint mark to 1939. If it has a mint mark, we definitely need it for our books, but it, it probably doesn't. And yeah, it's going to be a 1939 Philadelphia. We'll take it. Next roll, and we found a 1941 from Denver. Well, we just had another great find. Uh, we're on roll 38, and look at that right there. Another Buffalo nickel. It's facing right towards us see if we can get a date off yeah it looks like it's going to be a 1923 i don't even know if we have that one probably not we don't have that many a 1923 buffalo nickel don't see a mint mark probably from philadelphia awesome guys that's another and it's actually it's pretty cool tone too um but yeah we'll take that i'm glad neither of the buffalo nickels have had the dates worn off that always sucks and then, anyways, in the back of the roll, I did see we had a 1939. Let's see if there's a mint mark. And I don't think... No, that's not a mint mark. It would be over there on the right side of the building, but there's nothing. 
So that, that's another amazing find right there. Pretty sure that'll be an addition, guys. Roll 41, and we got a 1940 Philadelphia. And last roll, we had a 1959 from Denver. Well, guys, look at what we have right here. Let's see, we got seven rolls left in the box, and this is going to be our third Buffalo Nickel. This one actually has a Denver mitt mark, which, so I know this one's going to be addition. I don't know if it'll have a year on it, though, so let's flip it over. And looks like it's a 1935, maybe? I don't know, I'll need to do some closer examination on that, but possibly a 1935 Looks like it was an ender at one point because it has the ring thing around it. But yeah, let me look a little closer on that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is a 1935 Denver. So that's going to be another Buffalo Nickel edition right there. So that's a great find once again. That makes three for the box. And we still have seven rolls left and another box from the same bank. Uh, and while you're here, this one right here is probably older. Yeah, 1946, Philadelphia. All right, we finished up with box number one. It was amazing. Now let's move on to box number two, which was picked up at the same bank at the same time. So hopefully we have just as many good finds. All right, I believe this is only roll two of that next box. And look what we have right here. We have a 1938. So actually in our albums, we have the 38S and Denver, which are rarer than the Philadelphia. So if this is a Philadelphia, It'll be another edition. Let's see. And it is. It's actually the Philadelphia for 1938. So that's going to be an edition. Once again, that's our fourth edition of the video. That is amazing, guys. It's actually in really good shape, too. So we'll take that. Now we have every coin for the 1938 year. Let's keep going through this box. Oh, my gosh, guys. We're on literally, like, I think it's the next roll. And look at this. This is going to be a, another amazing box, hopefully. Look right here. We got a silver war nickel. They only made silver nickels in, I think, four years. 42, 43, 44, and 45. But only half the nickels in 42 were silver. If this is from 42 or 44, we'll need it because it has a Philadelphia mint mark, as you can see right there. That's the only, um, the war nickels are the only mint marks or years with that mint mark right there. But let's see. And it's a 43. That's the most common year, but it's still a great find because it is silver. Once again, we'll take that. Now we have an addition and a silver in just um, like three rolls. All right, I think we're on like roll 12. And we got a 1946 Philadelphia right here. Next roll, and we got two 1941 Philadelphias. All right, like five rolls later, and we got a 1940 Philadelphia. Next roll, and we got a 1949 Philadelphia and a 1956 Denver. Roll 24, and we have a 1948 Philadelphia. Roll 28, and we're going to have a 1940 Philadelphia and an S-minted uh, nickel, sorry, a 1946 San Francisco. Roll 34, and we got a 1947 Philadelphia. All right, next roll, and it looks like we're going to have a penny in this roll. So I guess, let's see if there's anything special. No, just a 19, or no, sorry, a, a 2021 shield back. And I can see a 1946 right here, 1946 Philadelphia. On the last roll of the box, we got one more 1946 Denver. So that'll do it for the episode. I'm now going to bring you a wrap-up of the video. We have a lot of additions. All right, welcome to the wrap-up of today's video. Uh, we searched $200 in nickels. We had a lot of great finds, a lot of buffalo nickels and stuff. Here are the foreign finds. Um, we got this weird, this is on the first roll. We got a coin with a fish on it. It's slightly larger than a nickel. It's from 1994. It says Erie. Uh, or however, however you pronounce that. We got a penny. We got three Canadians. None of them are very old. And then starting off with our best finds, we got three Buffalo Nickels. We got a 20, 1923 Philadelphia, 1935 Denver, and a 1936 Philadelphia. All three are additions. 
Here's another edition, 1938 Philadelphia. So those are all great finds right there. Two 1939 Philadelphias. A bunch of 1940s. Some 41s. 41D. 43 Philadelphia. It's a silver war nickel right there. Another great find that'll go in the silver jar. Which I have not added anything to in a long time. And then we got some 46 Philadelphia is 46. Denver 46S. Uh, 47 Phillies, 48 Phillies, and then a 48 Denver, and then a 49 Philly. And then for the 50s, didn't have anything too special other than a 51 Denver, I think. Um, kind of a better date. And then a 55 Philadelphia, that's a def definitely a better date. But then other than that, really just mostly confines. So now let's go put these additions into the albums. All right, we've put in all the Buffalo Nickel additions. As you can see, here it is now. We added the 1923 right there, beautifully toned, 35.7 million minted. Uh, we added the 1936. Again, it's toned. That's the most common Buffalo Nickel right there, I believe. And then we add the 35 Denver, which only has 12.1 million minted, actually. The date is kind of hard to get off. If you think I should put Nick a date on there, uh, maybe it'll help reveal the date more. I could possibly do that. But yeah, I might try that. But I'm pretty sure it is a 35 Denver. So that's a good find right there. Now let's add um, our other edition. All right, I added in the 1938 Philadelphia. So now we have all of the nickels for that year. I also added the Monticello reverse. We're just missing a few more in this book. And we also replaced the 1946 S right there even though this one's not in very good shape. All right, that's going to do it for the episode. I hope next video I'm going to try to get, like, dimes. If not, then I will probably be back doing pennies next week. So I will see you then.